Hey viewers, this is a basic Photoshop tutorial on how to make an abstract line based background. It's fairly simple and it just uses layer styles pretty much to achieve this effect. So we'll open up Photoshop straight away. This is the actual document that I will be using uh, to reference throughout the, the tutorial. So what we want to do is make a new tutorial, Control N, which is a shortcut. Oh, it's on a PC, sorry. Uh, Whatever size you want, um, this is a background, so I'm going to use, set it to my background, which is 1440 by 900. So set it to whatever you want. Uh, resolution 72, uh, that's all fine. So, okay. So we need to apply a color to the background, so grabbing the paint bucket tool and selecting the color, we want to change it to 26, 26, 26. A dark kind of gray color, not black, dark gray. Make sure that's correct, otherwise, we will not be able to see the um, background gradient. Then we need to uh, duplicate this layer by control dragging down to the new layer um, symbol down here. You can duplicate it. So now we've got a background copy. I'm just going to rename this to background gradient so I know what it is. Now uh, we need to apply a actual uh, layer styles to this background gradient so we can get the actual gradient going through. So we'll go through it now. I'll just paste it on there so I know what it is. So first off, we want to go to the blending options, which is double clicking that, and you can go bring up the layer styles blending options. You drop the fill opacity down to uh, zero. Make sure that that's dropped down, because otherwise it could uh, muck around with actual uh, colors. Going to the uh, gradient overlay, we have an, uh, a gradient with the uh, blend mode of overlay and 100% opacity, 45 angle on linear. Now the colors themselves, I'll put them in the description as well, but also just quickly reference them here. So at uh, location zero, we have uh, a dark blue uh, zero 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 eight five. At location thirty three, there's a cyan like one B D A E B. Location sixty six, we have nine B three B eight one. Location 100, we have D27E34. Like I said, again, I'll put them in the description. And yeah, an easy way to like set up this uh, gradient is to use location so you can quickly fine tune it into sec uh, equal sections with uh, the location itself. So just remember that and I'll put it in the description for you. So we've got the background layer on, as we see now applied to so kind of a dark kind of gradient. You can't really see it too well, but that's where the actual objects themselves come out. So what these are are pretty much brushes that I've um, downloaded. I'll give you the link in the description for this. Um, besides that, you could make your own using the pen tool or creating shapes or whatever using the inbuilt tools in Photoshop, but these brushes are pretty good, so I was going to use these for the actual background itself. Um, so making a new layer uh, has to be separate from the background. We're going to grab the uh, brush tool and go down to these brushes. The uh, ornamental brushes I, I can set up in the description for you to download. And yeah, so grabbing a brush on a new layer, preferably in white, because this we can see what we're doing. We're going to paint, you know, whatever you want, just paint like that, solid object. And we are going to apply a gradient overlay. I cannot remember off by heart what it is, so. It's going to go into grab, and copy this layer style, paste it. So first off, we have the blending mode again. So the opacity is up to 100. Remember, color dodge is a big thing to re remember. Color dodge for the actual blending mode. Opacity down to 41. The rest of the settings should be all default. Add a glow. Again, color dodge on white with the opacity of 75 should be the actual uh, settings we should use to get the best effect. Again, you can muck around with these settings to get the uh, best effect for your gradient or your setting that you want to do it in. But these are ones I'm recommending. So making new layers, uh, we can grab other brushes and lay them on top by right clicking the layer what we've already done, we can copy the layer style and then we can right click the other one and paste the layer style so by overlapping them it allows for more of a kind of a highlight to come out so it's the best effect so we're going to go and make a new layer again and just find another decent brush that we can use apply it paste layer styles and just keep on repeating and moving around to see how you oops seeing how you uh did it again. Seeing how you like it. Um pretty much yeah. Moving it and how you 
personal touch to it. It's pretty much the best way to get these done. Again, like I did some other things on this one where I've actually dropped the opacity of the uh, back, some background objects to make it a different color. So by going into the actual layer styles themselves and going into blending options, we can change the uh, the opacity of an object like such to make it look like it's further back in the distance. So pretty much yeah, we're just gonna muck around applying different ones and pasting layer styles on top. You can also add some uh cool text things, cool text uh style, sorry. And uh let's do this one for now. So we'll apply similar thing, we'll copy paste style, so exact same styles as the last one, but we will drop the fill opacity down here completely down. That way you can actually see the text against the background. That kind of gives it a negative effect with the actual background. You can see the text quite, quite well. So pretty much there you go guys. Muck around with it. See how you go. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Tell me how you went. If you need any help, I'm happy to help you guys. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, subscribe, rate, and comment, I guess. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.